The head of the Royal Navy has delivered a passionate defence of gunboat diplomacy. The first Sea Lord, Admiral Sir Mark Stanhope, has argued that stationing warships in hotspots around the world can prevent the cost and risk of sending in ground forces. He delivered a speech in London which drew an examples from the successful operation in Libya last year. Julie Knox was there. His topic was influence without embroilment, delivering effect from the sea. And last year's Libya campaign was his example of how NATO's maritime assets gained success offshore with minimum risk to enduring presence. Because, he said, on the ground embroilment costs resources and lives. Citing the Apache airstrikes from HMS Ocean, the first Sea Lord spoke of the precision distance warfare, which limits collateral, as leverage effect without regret. The think tank, the International Institute for Strategic Studies, heard Admiral Stanhope praise his Navy for its versatility, mobility and interoperability. In so many ways, the United Kingdom's contribution to the maritime effort in in liberating Libya speaks for itself. 16 naval ships and submarines, collectively spending over 700 days off the Libyan coast, and with 3,100 naval personnel deployed. HMS Ocean's Air Group conducted over 1,300 deck landings during this period alone. All this, even in terms of this engagement of intervention, has been achieved with, I would suggest, the lightest of touches. Intervention along the lines of Libya and prevention, such as long-term maritime security in the Middle East, are the key building blocks in the First Sea Lord's strategy for influence without embroilment. He's fully behind maintaining a persistent military presence in regions of interest to Britain, telling the audience that an already deployed navy providing forward presence lessens the need to be kinetic. And that is why, out there right now as I speak, there are over 40 Royal Naval warships, submarines and support ships at sea, in home waters and around the globe, as well as approaching 7,000 sailors and marines on operational duty protecting the United Kingdom. He summed it up like this. The greatest value of the Navy will be found in events that fail to occur because of its influence. Julie Knox, Forces News, London.